Hi, I'm Simon Boyle. I'm the founder of Beyond Food Foundation and a restaurant called Brigade. So Beyond Food um, is a, an organisation that is frustrated that with people that become homeless and um, people that are very vulnerable with complex needs and we've decided to do something about that by using the hospitality industry to inspire them and get them back on their feet and into a long-term meaningful job. The kind of training we can give them is um, we start off with sort of primary engagement, which is about their own well-being. The idea being, if you start to look after yourself better, you can make better decisions, have the right energy and motivation to move yourself forward. And then we go into employability skills, and we use food as a life skill to kind of um, teach them lots of things about teamwork and you know sort of um, how to manage your day and all that kind of stuff, but also things like how to write really, a really impactful CV. And, um, and then we move into um, the kind of the, the kind of get the drive the passion of food and, and, and the idea of service and being and, and using that as a career. So it's a real people place, um, you know, people industry. So most people have the personality that we have. Um, and then we move into more longer term training. So we do two programs. One's called United Kitchen, which is a two year apprenticeship. And you can literally, from the start, two years later, be fully qualified and in the industry in a great job. Um, or you can go front of house, which is a local ag front, which is all about actually quicker training, so four, to, four weeks of training um, and getting straight into a job, into a front of house role. Um, anything from you know a really great cafe all the way through to fine dining restaurant. Uh, qualifications we use the City and Guild, so we've just moved to the new standards. Um, so all professional qualifications, everything you would need. So if it's a four week course, you would get everything you would need to kind of get into that kind of casual dining market. Um, but there's lots in there, so everything from the normal first aid kind of stuff all the way through to how to, how to prepare wine and serve wine and things like that. Um, but in the kitchen, it's, it's all food based obviously, so they are <coughs> learning to become a professional chef and they'll get their professional chef in the language. So the majority of people that come to us are, are from a vulnerable background, so it's either through the job centre or it's from organisations such as um, Shelter and Crisis and so on those. Um, so that we have that natural affinity with those organisations that they refer people to us. It's not just that, we come across people all the time that are interested in hospitality and don't know how to get into it. I don't think they realise how easy it is, but there's tons of jobs out there. There's always um, good jobs and there's a few you know, jobs that aren't so good. So we can help them find the right thing and refer them or we can refer them onto our programmes. Um, and you know, and the job centres are a brilliant place really to find work because obviously, you know, you've got, they've got a captive market that people want to find and should find work, and also they've got employers in there feeding them, you know, um, good roles all the time. Um, industry experience is vital. So as all of our courses have work, uh, work placements here at the gate, so um, the the four week um, uh, out front course has two day, two weeks of classroom training, two weeks of work experience on the floor in the restaurant, um, in the private dining, the cookery school and hosting and the uh, behind the bar. And um, the chefs are, do a whole year of brigade, so they're in the, the kitchen, they are going around each section and we make actually everything here so they'll learn that on the job. They also do obviously their, their qualifications online and um, through kind of examinations and so on assessments and then we put them into a, um, a work placement for a whole year fully paid so that's two two solid years of full-time work um, and usually they retain that position for um, ongoing after that point but if they did want to move on and find something different then they could quite often come back to us because our connections are really varied and, and quite successful and it's up to them to win the job of course Advice to working in hospitality, very simple. Number one, you've got to really want to do it because it's, it takes everything that you've got. So if you really want to do it, it's easy and it's really enjoyable. You've got to be happy and engaged every day and you've got to be wanting to really give everything, you know, and work hard because it's, you do need to work hard, but with work, hard work comes lots of enjoyment. You meet tons of people. Once you've got some good skills, you can do all sorts of things. You can travel, you can... Um, work for high-profile organisations. You can you can work in you know, very private organisations where you, you might just be working for a family, for instance. But, so it's really varied. Um, but you know, and I've, I think you've got to be relentless at the start. You've got to really want to want it and work hard, keep your head down, and then everything falls into place. You.